Beans for this stream? Is is that a joke? Is that like not to rag on? Is that a, a reference? I mean, I guess the 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 show is a reference, so you got me there. Is the news true? Uh, the news is that in. I assume you're talking about how in about eight eight months, seven, eight months, if everything goes well, ah, I'm disappearing. Uh, if everything goes well, there will be another person with my DNA in the world. Uh, yes, that is true. I'm very excited. Very excited. Uh, yeah, yeah. She was, she was really sick. It's a, it's a hard thing. Uh, God, get, yeah. I mean, I guess if you believe in that kind of thing, um, it's just something. Yeah, making a clone. Uh, my dick works, yes. Uh, I'm sure I've told this story on stream before, but one of my all-time burn, in my burn hall of fame, is this moment where uh, we were doing a show, and we hadn't done a show in a long time. It was maybe like the biggest gap, while like we were still doing stuff, it's maybe the biggest gap of not doing a show and Timmy had had a child and it was the first time since Timmy had his child that we did a show. Uh, and so anyways, um, we all showed up in the, the hotel room and within five minutes you could, you could tell, you could tell Timmy like was like saving something up. Within five minutes, Timmy goes, you know, it disappeared. Uh, he goes, you know, I'm the only one here who has evidence. He had physical evidence. He had sex before. And then like, just without thinking, I was like, yeah, you're the only one that needs it. And it was, it was, it was the closest I've ever been to that jerk store moment in Seinfeld. Uh, that like... <laughs> You're their number one seller. Like, <laughs> uh, I've had a couple of good Timmy Burns throughout the years, but that one I think is the one that takes the cake. It was just like, and it was just, it was gut, it was a gut reaction. It was just off the cuff. It was, where's the muscles? Are we in health and fitness? So do you think I'm going to get a lot of people who are like, hey, why is this fat guy doing a show here in the, the health and fitness? Um, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, this is the muscle show. It has nothing to do with muscles, really. Uh, these... Uh, freaking crap. I'm, I'm going to... You know what? This I've had I've had it up to here with this virtual green screen today, but I'm I'm gonna have to add it back later. I don't know. Uh, God damn it! Hold on. Oh. 
Hold on. Okay, sorry, doing a random crap. Oh, crunchy on. You're trying to get me in trouble. It's probably the lack of light. Is the reason? I don't know. Thank you so much for keeping the lights on. You've truly put the whole team on your shoulders. You're fantastic. You Quiet down. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm on the stream. Oh, sorry. I'm streaming. I, it's my mom on the phone. Well, shut the door. Uh, shut your own door. Shut. Hold on. I got it. God, God damn it. God damn it. I'll do karaoke now. Yeah, I'll do karaoke of all the songs that Emily did. Emily was like, hey, I have something serious for you to talk about. Um, can you get me a mic with auto tune on it? Oh no, it's like. I can figure that shit out. Wasn't even there. Um, get all the water I got. This was pretty full when I came in here. Oh. oh, that was too much water. Sorry, sorry. I'll stop burping. It. I'll, I'll I'll turn it down. Um, hydration is important in health and fitness. Oh, that was like how much is that? Because that was pretty full. I think this is like a half gallon, or maybe it's a gallon. The twenty-two hundred milliliters. This is 2200. What do you think that is? Milliliters? Oh. It was more than half full, Implicate. It was like most of the way full. I like just filled it. <laughs> oh, that was too much. That was too much. <laughs> 200 million liters. <laughs> yeah. 
ounces? 2200 ounces? No, eight ounces is a cup. There's no way. Uh, let's see. Are you trying to get healthier for the new kid? Yeah, kind of. But, I mean, I, I do think I should drink more water anyways. Uh, that what I just did was not healthy and I'm not, I don't do that every day, but, um, I do like having this big, huge thing of water cause I drink at least one of these every day. Uh, he is super healthy. Beer has some water in it. True. Yeah. So it's 2200 milliliters. So it was like half gallon of water. Uh, let's see. Your kidneys have a long night ahead. I Here's the thing, guys. I'm going to talk about getting getting becoming 40. Um Sam, what's your workout routine? I'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, let's talk about health and fitness on the Muscle Show. Um Let's see. Uh what was I going to say? What was I talking about? I'm all scattered now. Cause oh oh so oh yeah let me turn turn talking about turning forty big thing since turning forty two two big things happened since since I turned forty one uh, my best friend's dead uh, that's different that's been different than than all except the last few months of being you know zero through you know thirty nine um, two the big thing is I think it is a forty thing. Uh, to a big thing is I wake up to pee in the middle of the night almost every night at like 5 a.m. I wake up to pee where can I get a shirt like that I think it's in our store still uh, if you go to our um, uh, teespring it's actually nice quality I, I like it it's soft um, I know that the, some people had some problems with the sweatshirts and have to turn them inside out when they wash and dry them. But yeah, I have to almost every night I have to get up and pee. Uh, and it's weird because you, you get up and you pee, but it's like you don't want to get too up, you know, because you, you, you want to go like straight back to sleep. So it's weird, you know, you do stuff like figure out how to pee in the, the dark. <laughs> uh, we have like night lights in our bathrooms and stuff. Oh, you wore yours last night. Sonar, baby. Pee sitting down. Yeah, that's a good tip. Um, sleep in the tub to avoid this. Oh, that's true. Did Trevor like Saget? Uh... I'll tell you this. He loved Dirty Work. I don't know if he loved Bob Saget, but I do know that he loved Dirty Work. And didn't Bob Saget direct Dirty Work? Is that correct? Have you had any significant injuries in your 40 years? Anything hurting? Um, I've thrown my back out a couple times. Uh, once on... Uh, like on stage during a show we were doing the uh the i forget what we, what we call it the, the interruption sketch or whatever the one where zach like we're we're doing a dinner sketch and we're debating about something and then zach makes it about his girlfriend what what did we dinner date is i think what we called it it's one of those sketches where we called it dinner date and we made perfect sense to us that it was called dinner date but uh it's like it's just that that's the most not descriptive th like a, yes a date and a meal like dinner vote oh that is yes that is what we called it that is right that's a little bit more accurate because we get the audience to vote but it's funny that it even has dinner in the the title i don't know like we're not voting on dinner i don't know it's funny uh thank you for that though um but we were doing it and you know he goes to like hit me and 
like my back just like tenses up it, i don't know if you've ever had your back go out but it like it feels like all your muscles in your back just like like are stiff and so it feels like if you move the wrong way you're gonna tear all the muscles in your back and yeah um and i went backstage it was the last sketch of the first half of the show and I asked if there was any like aspirin or anything or any, anyone had anything and no one had anything but we had whiskey in our our rider and so I was just like maybe this will work and so I started doing shots of whiskey every time I was off stage and I got very drunk that night but also uh, everyone else got very drunk that night uh, Timmy got so drunk he threw up in a parking lot to like a 7-Eleven or something uh, and it's scary. Oh, uh, having your back go out. Yeah. And it's weird too. I had my back go out another time. And the funny thing is, is like, I feel like often your back doesn't, uh, go out when you're like doing something that's like heavy. Uh, uh, much love. I love seeing Trevor and Zach in Cincinnati. Many, you, Trevor and Zach. Was it me, Trevor and Zach, or me, Trevor and Darren? Uh, I mean, like, it might have been Zach, but uh, there was very few times that it was that lineup that it was Zach and no Darren. But I, th I think maybe that happened like once. Uh, what's my favorite muscle? Um, the brain. Um, would you like some LSD to contemplate parenthood? I'm a dad. You'll be great at it. Thank you. Uh, no, no thanks for the LSD. It's been a while. Uh, back's been going out since I was 17. Car accident. Ooh. Uh, Zach, Darren, basically the same person. All right, so it was, it was Darren, yeah. Uh, that Cincinnati, oh yeah, it definitely was Darren. I remember that, because the Cincinnati show, um, oh, this will be fun. People ask, ask me about shows you guys have seen of ours, and I'll tell you if, like, like any details about it. But the Cincinnati show, the funny thing about that was it was outside of Cincinnati. It wasn't, like, in Cincinnati. And when you do these shows, you don't have a car or anything, so you're just kind of, like stuck at wherever you're being put up and so we're being put up put up in Cincinnati and we're playing shows there for the weekend and the only thing that was with, within walking distance was like or maybe there was other stuff within the walking distance but we weren't too like you know like psyched on exploring C Cincinnati uh, and so we uh, there was a bowling alley diagonally across from us and Darren and I played like went bowling a ton and uh, I since then have started bowling that was before I I actually bowled but um yeah um was Conway the least populated place you played uh no I mean it, we had to play someplace l less populated than Conway because like that show was packed so uh just strictly on the amount of people that were there it was it was we've played places that i bet had less people great scott and wilbur in massachusetts oh that was um the wilbur was amazing great scott was fun because it was like a little like little thing but wilbur was like that was that was a dream come true really like that was like really cool because i'm from massachusetts and we got to have my friend greg open for us greg johnson who you might have seen on you know me do shows with on here but it was just like that's what you think of when you think of a comedy theater and uh and we had a ton of fun there and the crowd was was great and uh timmy has a daughter does anyone know how many kids darren has darren has kids Oh, he has two. Um, what were your favorite types of venues to play? Least favorite types? Uh, you know, honestly, the, the, the like, 
concert theater was like I'd say my favorite like the um like the Wilbur the uh the Troubadour things like that like have that like classic like comedy venue feel of like not like comedy venue but like when you see like stand up specials and stuff were like really fucking cool uh the my least favorite were probably sometimes you know you'd play a college and they would have you like literally in like just like a multi-purpose anything that like the stage is only a foot high where it's like a, a riser and not an actual stage was the worst um or outdoors outdoors is the worst actually like anytime we because we've done like a couple festival type things and it's just it fucking blows it's the worst so yeah in syracuse 2009 got a speeding ticket heading to it that was the very beginning of that tour the miss march tour uh i have pictures from that uh if I can be a good dad to anyone. There's a picture I have of, like, Trevor, and he's, like, looking all, like, kind of... Um, actually, wait, maybe I'll share some of those pictures with you guys. Because right, I think I, I have them here on this computer, or an old computer that I have m migrated stuff. This is the part where I get silent and I just look through files. Hey, actually, I have a good question. To this is something that um, Trevor's in-laws were asking me about. Um, they Trevor's mother-in-law takes a lot of pictures. A lot of like has taken a lot of photos for years and years and years uh, and has just like computers filled with photos drives filled with photos and she's looking like for the easiest way to yeah it's a question for you guys yeah she's looking for the easiest way to just get someone to organize all her pictures she has, um, um, what's it called? Uh, Lightroom and like an Adobe subscription. I think she got for the purpose of putting that together, but I think it's still like a daunting task for her. And she is someone that would just like get someone to do that for her. Is there like, uh, <laughs> I'll do it. What's her address? Is there a, a place like a service that you can go to like someone you can get to hire to do that uh or is there a piece of software that will like we're talking about like going through photos and like maybe like grouping you know like the same photo like if someone took like a bunch of photos of the same thing like grouping those all together uh, Google Photos has an app. Oh, true. I mean, yeah. Hardware, maybe? Uh, now, this is also like, there's an AI for that, I think. All right. Someone sends me a message on something that is like what is the best way to do that and this is not like what's the cheapest way to do that this is like what's the easiest way to to do that kind of thing there are companies that scan photos in vhs i bet they also do all right so yeah what what are those companies does anyone have a suggestion that is like basically what i'm asking about um but wait let me let me find this, these old. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
So this might be it. Let's see. Oh wait. <laughs> Do you ever have like, so you got like files on your computer and then all of a sudden that folder with all the files has like a corrupted version of the files where there's like a period before the file name, but then like also the actual file is there too. Ever have that happen? All right, wait. This I think I'm getting close. Uh, St. Louis. <laughs> St. Louis is funny. It was a rock club. Rock venues are pretty fun. Like just like, you know, like a club club. Uh, Trevor in the Bigfoot Gravedigger, and people probably mentioned this before, but Trevor fell when he was jumping off stage. He slipped like so hard and hit his head on a, um, a chair. And he said it was like, he like skipped a beat. Like he, he like his vision kind of like went out for a second like he probably had a concussion or something like that uh it's just so crazy uh yeah he was seeing stars for a second uh well, these pictures are funny oh there's my dog party dog um, little baby concussion, yeah. Um, but uh, uh, the other funny thing was we were hanging out, and this was, I think, all of us had a significant other except for Timmy, and there was this girl there that was hanging out with us and she came back to the hotel with us and I don't know maybe maybe she was being like flirty with us but I thought she was just like <laughs> like hey, but I think I think the whole thing was that like she was just hanging out with us but we wanted to give Timmy a hard time so we kind of convinced her, Timmy that like everything she was saying was we were like, Timmy, you got to go for it, man. She's into you. Because, like, <laughs> we, there was this moment where I remember we were we were putting our keys into the door. We both uh, took our keys out. And she was like, oh, you know, like, you guys can both put your keys in at the same time. See what that does. And we're like, Timmy, that means she wants us to, like, all have sex with her. And, uh, I mean, I feel bad for her. If, if I wasn't, like, positive that Timmy would not hit on this girl, you know, I don't think we were in any way aiming that at her. It was all aimed at Timmy and how awkward that would make him. But, I don't know, maybe Darren's like, oh, no. I actually thought Timmy had a shot. Um... Where are these photos? Let me see. You're going to an older hard drive. Oh, I think maybe somewhere on here. Wait, what year would that have been? 2009, I think, right? 2008? What year did Miss March come out? I think 2009. Let's see. Oh, thank you. Darren broke his arm. Did the show end? 
I think so. I think, but I think it was the last sketch of the show, actually. So I think it like we went to video and it was like, if we get a hype train. Will Sam swallow a bottle of roids? Uh, I don't have any roids, so. Baked beans, yeah. That's a sketch we did. Um, wait, oh, what, what's that question about TRL? Are there any instances like Trevor on TRL? Instances like Trevor on TRL that you guys appeared. Still need to watch the RoboCop remake. Um... Instances like Trevor on TRL. Oh, where we like, I mean, I had someone, I had someone found that clip, which is so insane to me. Uh, that was so fun and funny. And that was like one of my favorite things about like, you know, living life with Trevor is that like, sometimes you suggest something and he'd just totally be down for it. The frustrating thing is sometimes he'd be like, hey, I this is this thought out thing that I like genuinely want to do. And he'd be like, nah, not. I just don't feel like it. Um, yeah. But yeah, for some reason, he said his name was Scooter. And for some reason, Carson Daly, I guess there's not many scooters out there. any specific rules he lived by you'd like to share he did always say it's easier to ask forgiveness than permission I don't think that is a great rule for all instances but I think it it, it does lend itself to how he was never really afraid to, to ask for what he felt he, he needed to do something he did often like have regrets and uh um you know like he was the kind of person where you know like that would beat himself up about something that like like a, something would happen and he would like call someone up and apologize afterwards and even though it was like a small thing um I don't think Trevor would have abused it. Oh, the the ask forgiveness permission thing. Sometimes it was like, eh, you know, we should ask permission about certain things. Uh, has uh, WKUK ever planned on exploring the horror genre? Uh, I mean, I think you know, like, um, you know, Zach's making his horror movie. Uh, Timmy and I are definitely horror fans. Um, was Trevor more an indica or sativa guy? Um, you know, our smoking pot never didn't really line up because he definitely like towards the end of his life was smoking pot, but I had already gone sober. But um, I think he was more of a Uh, I think he was more of a sativa guy. I mean, he would he would have his weed late at night, but yeah, it, no, no, indica, into catch. But it, it is kind of like was Trevor a boob man? Uh. He will, Trevor was funny in that, like, he loved, he thought, like, and you can see this on, on the, 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 you know, the streams we did, but, like, he thought that, like, being a dirty dog was, like, the funniest thing. He thought, like, like, going to strip clubs was so funny, and, uh, yeah. Favorite horror comedy? Um... I don't know. The first thing that came to mind was, uh, and this isn't like strictly like a horror comedy, 
but uh uh drag me to hell is like a funny movie but i think that's a that's a really cool movie and it's really cool how it just like does not you know it's it's a it's a a curse movie you know like I think that's so I think that's like a fun genre and and I like stuff like that that like isn't just like monsters or ghosts or things like where it's just like uh like I like um Don uh what do you call him Don Cascarelli uh because a lot of his movies are like about like interdimensional demons and I think that's like so cool thinner thinner fucking rules I have like a really soft spot for shitty Stephen King movies like I know like I'm not one of these people who is like Stephen King is the best uh you know the shining the stand oh I love it I hated the new it I thought that was like a very bogus movie but I love shitty Stephen King movies uh did Trevor actually like strip clubs or was there 100% a bit? Uh, no, Trevor actually likes strip clubs. And like, I'll tell you, sometimes he would go to a strip club and just like hang out. And like, like I I forget when this was, but there's this one night in New York where we went to a strip club in New York for some, we had like time to kill and we were like near there's like this one strip club that's like out of the way and for some reason we were over there and we're like, should we go in? And we're like, oh yeah, this will be funny. And for like the whole entire time that he was there, he just ended up talking to this strip club, this stripper and like drinking, but not like hitting on her. Just like hanging out with her. Just like like chilling and uh there's something about the vibe that i think he he really loved uh just like the weird kind of like the music the like i i also think there's something about like the fact that so you're there and you're like this is cool this is cool like okay I'm having fun hanging out but like every other person there is like I want to hang out to like almost come and then like put something in the spank bank for later and like you know I think he you know on some level enjoyed it like everyone else does but on some level he liked I think being like alright well I'm not those guys Bizarre atmosphere, so fun to watch people. Yes. And he loved the music. Like, the music at a strip club lined up with his musical tastes pretty perfectly. I mean, you know, like, in, towards the end, he was listening to a lot of, like, country and stuff. But uh, his, like, pop, rap, rock sensibility, like, really lined up with strip club movies music dude i met a stripper that was so cool in vegas we talked for like two hours i paid for my first lap dance ever just because i felt bad taking up so much for time oh am i a boobs man i'm a have boobs man uh you know i'm i'm a mind man no i, I boobs are great yeah um Amy seems like a very chill wife. She is. She's a very cool person. Uh old Virginia boy. What kind of music was Trevor into? Um Jerry Reed. He talked about it a lot. I mean like he put a lot of the, like music that he was into um on the the streams like before. Portland, Oregon, Hawthorne Theater. Uh, those were fun shows. They were a little wild. It was a little bit of like a, 
a shit show kind of vibe to the Hawthorne. Like the, you know, I think one time we played it and the AC was out. So it was just fucking the green room is like above the stage and it was just fucking so hot up there. Uh, towards the end. Well, I mean, you know, it's, I feel like, like I'm going to get into the kind of deep boys for a second, but like, I got to Like, I got to like when talking about it and when being in it. And I think this is part of the reason why I like being here. Why I like, like hanging out with the uh, deep muscle boys. <laughs> uh is it with like deep reps <laughs> uh but uh it, like oh fuck I, I lost the train my train of thought uh but oh, one of the reasons i like hanging out here is because like when talking about stuff and talking about you know this stuff and all that and like um i'm not gonna like pretend it didn't happen I'm also like not gonna like I mean maybe I am kind of like living in it but like uh you know it's it's it really is I feel like when I'm talking to you guys and I'm here and in as a part of this community that we started together that um not that he'd be on my show but um I do feel like I am living in the reality that death happens. And, you know, sometimes people go like, oh, I'm so sad because it's like, oh, death doesn't happen. But like, you know, when I make jokes and stuff like that and like I'm like just kind of like turning into it where a lot of people kind of like shy away. It's like, yeah, it fucking happened. You know, uh, aw. Thank you. You guys, your support is uh, really helpful. Did you ever celebrate your ran your 40th in a random town? Uh, no, I didn't because Trevor died. Uh, and, you know, COVID's going on. I uh, Maybe this year we'll, we'll do a, li- uh, a little like a late 40th birthday because I didn't really get to do a 40th birthday again. Uh, you know, like so last year COVID you know we didn't get birthdays last year really it was October which was like a bad COVID season so didn't didn't really have anything last year I think maybe I streamed last year uh I, I, the one before my 40th birthday uh and then this this past year was uh you know Trevor and really didn't do anything I I like I actually went to uh the Trevor's uh gravesite on my birthday and me and Amy and Emily went there and it was really nice um and I you know had breakfast burritos and I did some things that I was like oh I want to do this today uh and that was nice but I didn't like do anything um and then the year before that for my 38th birthday I think it was my 38th birthday maybe it was my 39th but uh one one year uh Zach got married and had a, a wedding in Austin and his wedding was the day after my birthday and so I spent uh, my birthday at his uh, rehearsal dinner and so for like the I, like the last three years I haven't really had a birthday I think it was the last three years maybe it was wait did someone say in 2019 he got married yeah yeah so 2019 Zach uh, 2020 COVID 2021 Trevor. Um, oh, cool. This community seems to trend older than most of Twitch. Uh, 2022. Yeah, what's going to happen? Um, 
what does the grave say? I don't think anything yet. Um, it's a tree right now. Uh, do you guys want to? So, uh, thanks for thanks for hanging out. I, I know this has been like a good hang for a little bit uh, for the first muscle show, uh, but it, I do. There are is some stuff I want to do. Um, I do want to play some video games. Uh, what was Trevor like in bed? He was tender. Uh, let's see. Uh, none of you fucking die. We're all going to die. You can't say, like, everyone here. Isn't that crazy? Everyone's going to die. We're all going to die. Do you see, when was the last time when you guys saw, like, a baby? Like, that baby is going to die. Probably won't be a baby when it dies. Maybe it will be, but it probably won't be. But it's going to die. It is to me, not to you. Is it cool if in the future I could go to Trevor's grave? Yeah. Uh... It's a tattoo from my dead father, who is in the Navy. Is this for gun? This is a gun. Um, let's talk about fitness, actually. Uh, when your baby is born, Sam, will you point at it and say, you're dead, baby. You're dead. <laughs> yeah. You know... The, from the moment we're born, we die. We're dying. You know? Uh, so, here's the thing. Do I like cardio more or lifting more? I don't, you know, I'm not a huge fan of lifting. Like, I've, I've done it, and uh, I, I had a friend who was a personal trainer, and I used to work out with him, and that was awesome. That was... That was great, uh, but I don't like, you know, like, going to the gym, and I, there also is, like, this, like, kind of, like, social thing. It's a fly. Tattoo of a fly. Right there. Um, a greenhead fly. Gonna name is Steg for Stegosaurus. Uh... I spent it's oh spent you I was like you spent me what all right I'm gonna check the the uh, thanks for letting me know what should I play today I, I haven't done the driving game in a while I could but basketball was really fun did you guys like basketball but I'm um, that's far off because uh, there's something I want to do before that. Uh, and sometimes my ADHD is tough. Uh, you know, when it's like, what am I doing? Where am I going? How do I do that? I don't know. Uh, Dr. Fun donated $10. Said, Sam, you're a beautiful person and we appreciate you. I'm still not Joe Rogan. Jury's out. However, I did think about the same thing as well as you were in the future. I don't think I have to go to work. Oh, yeah. I did I did think about the same thing as well as you were in the uh, okay is that I inadvertently created a sh shake weight some skinny kid at school used to lock me up in wrestling and I was his hero and then he wound up getting ripped and in inventing the shake weight oh Oh, that's crazy. Wow. 
so I here's the thing with fitness it's so hard right it's so hard to stay fit and to like find the time right um I feel like fitness like the thing with fitness in me is like it's just uh It's it, it's hard to create that habit, you know, and I love moments where I've been like actively doing things like to like keep me fit. But at the same time, I just like there's part of me that just loves not doing anything at all and being not healthy. So, uh. I always have to push that and I think that's you know kind of for everyone is is I think sort of the same thing um, but you have to find yeah stretching does feel great you have to find out like what works for you and one thing that I I think I'm gonna do another another road race uh, someone sent me a message about a virtual half marathon and I, I think I'm going to do it. It's been a while since I've done anything like that and uh, workout partners really helps. Yeah, totally. Because then if you, Trevor and I were actually workout buddies for a while because we had a gym membership at the same gym and so he would hit me up whenever he was going and uh, we would like just kind of like hit the machines at the gym it was like a um gold's gold's gym uh in hollywood and uh it was it's funny it's one of those ones that like it's in hollywood uh there's it's it's so crowded it's so many people and but there's also definitely like like a gay beefcake scene there and so it's like you'll get a lot of these like fucking huge ripped dudes with like nipple rings and tank tops that like have like the nipple rings are sticking out from um didn't trevor wear jeans to the gym or something i he probably i think mostly he wore shorts but is that where i saw it no that's not where i saw eric roberts junk uh, and actually, I've been watching Righteous Gemstones, and he's on Righteous Gemstones. He looks, looks way more fit in Righteous Gemstones than when I saw him in person. So, I think he, he shed some weight. Um, let's, uh, but yeah, so that, that was always kind of fun as, as we, yeah, Righteous Gemstones is great. Um, Emily and I keep talking about Righteous Gemstones and like how funny the cast is like there are some like genuinely funny people in that cast there is like like uh, <laughs> Miss Haven uh has uh, Mama don't my 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 misbehaving Mama no Mama told me not to but I did it anyway misbehaving Oh I mean All right well that's not true Danny McBride's last show was uh vice principal um Eastbound and Down's great uh East the funny thing about Eastbound and Down the first season is like first season is so good and then it like falls off as it goes along and then the last season is the next best thing to the first season they really kind of like Ben Best wait do I remember Ben Best wait who's Ben Best that name sounds so familiar
Wait, who? All right, you did cocaine with Ben Best. The funny thing about you spending it down is it is it wasn't funny. No, the fucking the ah. The introduction of the character is hilarious. Like, because, like, there are people that are like that. There are baseball players that are, like, that big of assholes. And also, it's so fun that it explores this idea that, uh, that, like, there are these athletes that do, yeah, John Rocker, that do, like, one thing and have, like, one moment and it defines their life. And they're horrible. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and I loved the whole the vibe that like they're like we're gonna make this character horrible but we're also going to like have a redemption there and and we're, we're gonna have that and this is why the first season is so fun is because yeah John Rocker is a bad person <laughs> stop please no uh but who's been best? <laughs> oh, wait, I'm gonna look up who Ben Best is. Cause it sounds so familiar. But also like first season of uh Oh yeah, he was the the guy, the the friend, uh, fucking huffed paint and shit. Um, do I have any more tattoo plans? Uh, but John Hawks is in it. John Hawks is one of my favorite actors. John Hawks is fucking amazing. Uh, but uh. Ben Bess was the third in the partnership of Danny McBride and Jody Hill. That's such like a cool, like, there's a lot of cool people that come from that scene. I forget what college, they like went to college in Georgia or something like that. And uh, there's like Jody Hill, Danny McBride, um, David Gordon Green, and then uh, NC State. And then uh, there's this other director who I actually met in New York and who um, kind of came from that scene uh, who did, who's rad, who's made some like really fucking cool movies. Um, what the fuck is his name? Uh, he did Great World of Sound um, and... Uh, he just did Mayor of East... Craig Zobel, I think, is also from that scene. Uh, don't think about it. We're in a simulation, yeah. But Craig Zobel is fucking great. And uh, Great World of Sound with Pat Healy, which is almost like a uh, a comedic movie kind of like that plays off of... Uh, the similar subject about like what that song poem movie is about um and so craig zobel uh did that and then he did uh compliance which is a fucking dark ass movie but like it's good uh and then he recently did was that the hunt i think it was called and then he, I think he produced Mayor of East Town, which was like one of my favorite things I saw last year. Right, let me see. What did, what did Craig Zobel do? Uh, compliance, Great World of Sound, The Hunt, Mayor of East Town. He did some Westworld and some Leftovers. Something called Z for Zachariah. I never saw that, but... Uh, huh. 
Interesting. But yeah, he, he he's cool. Yeah, Compliance was based on a true story. Very, very dark. Also, the little thing to know about Compliance that I thought was very interesting was, uh, are you wearing a Professor Snape shirt? No, it's Trevor. Um, Mr. Potter. Uh, that's my time, everyone. Yeah, all right. Hey, thanks for coming by. Uh, all right. The other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to do some song stuff. Now, I'll have to change the, but I'm, I, I have been following a, a video on YouTube. I gotta get I gotta figure this out uh, live has been really finicky with me I might have to reinstall it because it's just so finicky uh, but uh, so I was watching a video on YouTube about a girl was like here's 10 steps to writing a pop song and so I uh, I've been doing it and I want to zhuzh up the song a little and I skip some steps and maybe we'll go back to uh, to adding some stuff into that step so let's let's see what's up oh. oh crap it always does this where it's like you ever have that where something crashes, but then like in the way it crashes, it doesn't like completely close out. So then like to like restart it, you have to go and like. Make sure it's not running. And, like force quit. All right, let's try this again. Hi Sam, it's me, Nate. Uh, we were birthed from the same vagina. Yeah, I know. Uh, are there any updates on the WKK animated movie? Well, um, the elegant two who made uh, Trevor's albums, who made the al music on Trevor's albums, it looks like they are about it's not set yet but it hopefully they're going to do the music for the movie and so we'd be we'd think that's a a really good get if we can we'd love to be involved with them and uh on this and have them be a part of it so i don't know if i'm should be saying that but it looks like that's happening if that does it could also not happen though so don't be mad at me if it doesn't. Uh, and we got a check-in meeting on... Oh, wait, here we go. We got a check-in meeting on Friday. So, do, 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 do. what song? What song? <laughs> I had a really funny conversation with Josh Fadon today. We're, we talked about movies a bunch. Um, oh, here, I'll go with the movie wreck right now. Um, uh, So, I saw this movie on Criterion the other day. Uh, all right, great, cool. Here we go. Um, the movie was called The Hit. Uh, Stephen Frears, really fucking cool. Uh, 
Let's see. Hold on, I gotta... Oh, I should have done this in the other thing. Here we go. Let me just resize this shit. See me dragging that shit around. Uh, this movie, The Hit, Stephen Frears movie, uh, with Tim Roth from Reservoir Dogs in Pulp Fiction fame, and William Hurt, and Terrence Stamp. And it fucking ruled. It was like a, a buddy not a buddy movie but like a road trip movie about this guy who's about to get uh who's who's getting kidnapped so that he can be brought to france to get you know murked uh all right so I watched the thing about making pop songs and I just followed like steps just to uh, as a lot of you probably know I've I like will uh, often you know like try and do stuff just to learn stuff uh, I've mentioned before so I, I'm just was going along with this video just to kind of make a kind of pop song I do not have any vocals on it yet uh, but hold on, let me hopefully this doesn't sound crazy it probably will yeah, that sounds crazy uh, let's see. Audio output device. Hey, hold on, sorry. Let me just do no input right now. Alright, cool. Here's here is let's see, how's it sound?
chaining do I have going on everyone's like what the fuck is he talking about yeah. it's here wait why isn't that oh where did this go oh This is really weird. There is side chaining on this thing, but for some reason, this is not playing at all. Huh. I thought this was missing. I thought like there is side chaining in this, but maybe that's what's screwing. Something's wrong here. Because neither of these are playing. I screwed something up. Hmm. I'm going to have to go to the bathroom. I'm going to have to pee. All right, wait. I want to figure this out first. Because this is definitely supposed to be making noise. Huh. Oh, these are turned off. That's why. What did I do?
Sorry about that. <sighs> Sorry about that. I'll turn this down. Yeah, Emily's pregnant wheel of money. I did it. Hopefully I did it. Uh... Hopefully it wasn't someone else, you know? Fucking finish that water bottle. Alright, I'm gonna play the song over while I go pee. Track five is this thing. Track five kind of gets it a little. Oh, one weird thing I want to show you guys about this is this group here is really fun. Uh, The funny thing about this is, here, wait, let's just mute this for a second, that this is what I tried to do here that I think it's really kind of cool. Sounds kind of like a real guitar, but sign kind of not. Oh, 
here's here's I guess I deleted the source of it, but what I did was I, uh... Right, let me... Oh, yeah. Um... It's funny that I deleted that. But what I did was I played... I recorded each note from a, a chord. Like, I rec or like not from the chord i i you know was like the progression is uh i think it was a minor c g d and so i did one track where i went uh and then i did another track where i did the next note in everyone uh fucking a minor c g d uh i wanted to i always end up like in fucking uh the a minor uh scale it's cuz i always play the, i was i had this realization like while well, like playing around with the keyboards when i was young where i was like oh if you just do triplets, if you just do your finger, three, uh, you know, like, like, uh, one key, the next key, the next key, uh, you know, like, uh, if you just do that, you always kind of sound like you're doing something you can just play piano by just doing that and it sounds okay and that's because all those notes are in the a minor scale and so most of my stuff i write in a minor but that's also what the c scale and there's something else feels like lemmy's ableton stream right D minor is the saddest. Uh, C, D, E. Not subbed to Lemmy anymore. Yikes. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I don't know. In your opinion, I'm a badass. There's so many other people who think I suck. I'm sure. I was playing Sackboy on YouTube. I review horror movies. Uh, Video Cree. Um, what are your favorite horror movies? I'm just curious. What's 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 up there for you? No, I mean I'm fuck those guys if they think you suck. They suck. Sure. I mean they, but they don't even. Uh, they're just people. They're just, you know, like, if you do something, if you can get the right person to hear it, they're going to be, they're going to love it. Now, whether or not you get it to the right person, you know, find that person that would like the thing that you're doing, you know, that's the other question. Um... But, just, you know, there's someone for everyone, you know? And there's also someone to hate everyone. So, that's just the way that life works. Uh, oh man, I love anything. Yeah, I, you know, I saw a double feature uh, that was Basket Case and Brain Scan. Uh, I think Jonah had something to do with it. Like he like introduced it or something like that. But the uh, uh, that was really fun. Those are those are cool movies. They're very wild. Uh, I, I love how like the fucking alien and brain scan is like. Uh, or wait, no, not brain scan. What's what's the one? Basket case. Uh. I just read Brain Scan because I saw you. Uh, Brain Scan Video Cree previews. If you haven't seen it, you gotta see our um, 
our trailer boys show brain damage that's what i was thinking of yeah uh the voice of the alien it's like bing crosby the voice of the alien par- parasite uh reanimator i i have to watch it again i think the first time i watched it i was like oh, i was like a little overrated for me at the time um you know it was so hyped up to me i saw it, i was like oh this is cool um i think my favorites are i really love phantasm 2 uh i haven't seen society uh i have seen brain dead dead alive peter jackson that was like one of those things where i was like a teenager and it just like blah i love that you mentioned brain scan though i i, I love that shit too like i love like 90s like just shitty like weird 90s movies uh it was a really fun era for movies because like there was this like indie thing going on but also it took a lot to make a movie i feel like it's almost too easy to make a movie now uh i don't like american horror story uh headless rape scene I forget about that jeez serial mom's great uh yeah love John Waters um uh, I love phantasm um I you know what I saw in like the last like five years for the first time oh I fucking I love Cronenberg those are some of my favorites like uh the Cape Cod season was good. Provincetown. Uh, Cronenberg Scanners. Scanners is like, I fucking love Scanners. I think it's so cool. And I love... I love how Cronenberg, he really, like, does make these, like... He, he does, like, camp really well. Like... Scanners is like rad, but it's also like kind of like has this like soap opera element to it that like really, really kind of drives it. Uh, Crash is pretty wild. Crash is out there. Videodrome, very solid, very cool. Um, The Brood, you guys see The Brood? I have not seen Scanner Cop. I do want to, I I do think like that, like it's funny because Scanners is such a cool movie. And I like to think the person who's like, yeah, Crash Rocks is talking about the racism movie. Um, (laughs) Major car accident. I developed something called POTS where I constantly pass out. I'm 6'5", so when I go down, I go down hard, and I'm about 26 concussions. But what? And have some frontal lobe and tracking problems. WKK starting up online was literally savior for me. I was not in a great place. Oh man, that sucks. I'm sorry. I'm glad. I'm glad you're, you're doing better. I've seen Forrest Gump. Uh, favorite animated horror movie. What are some animated horror movies? Did anyone see Cronenberg's kids movie that came out? No. What was Cronenberg's kids movie oh, oh 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 i his his cronenberg's child's movie not i thought cronenberg made a kid movie it was like monster house i freaking love and it's funny because i'm i've become buds with uh rob Schraub and and i've also like you know talked to dan Harmon before but i've heard from like friends that they're like oh like don't talk about monster house <laughs> but i i thought it was great i i honestly like there's some things that monster house did that i was like oh that's really cool and really smart um uh, Uh, 
Yeah, kids do need more body horror. I, I think... Crim- oh, here's what I was saying was, I think that, like, one thing I've always been like, that should be explored. And I should, like, watch more... Um, I guess Rob Schraub's channel is, like, super rad. Like, he, he just does because he has his shit like because he has to worry about like copyright stuff he just hosts his own website and I hear it's awesome I gotta check it out uh, he's a cool dude his wife's really cool uh, but oh so what I was gonna say was um, uh speaking about horror on YouTube and saying things like murder and killing and blood gets you dinged like crazy. Oh, oh. Um, I thought you were like, speaking about horror, uh, I have seen Existence a long time ago, but I've seen it. Um, yeah, everyone check out Shrub Home Video. Check out Cali Kazoo's show on there. Callie's great. Check out Schraub stuff. Uh, I'm a very big Rob Schraub supporter. I think he's really cool. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so I, I got to watch all the scanner stuff because, you know, something I would one day like to explore is like, like, I feel like scanners needs a TV show because like that world is fucking cool. Like that, the idea of these people that, uh, can like blow up people's brains and like that then the movie really feels like the beginning of something you know like especially like it ends i almost blew the ending but like i thought that movie was so rad um the brood's also really good too um has uh, what's that guy's name the fucking drunk that was in gladiator uh he has a really good performance in that movie um, or some other good Cronenbergs, but like, yeah, Cronenberg does like, like, has like this kind of campy element. Oliver Reed, thanks, principal roles. Um, has this like really campy, like, element to what he does, and uh, I feel like he's like conscious of it do you know what i actually like really liked though was like history of violence i thought was fucking rad dead ringers that's like yeah that's pretty out there uh dead ringers is like i feel like the the it dead ringers is like looking at like a like gory renaissance painting like it's like one of these things where you're like oh this is like beautiful and then like it's like this painting where like you know, like someone's being like skewered by fucking spears. It's amazing. Uh, but like, so history of violence, I have this, yeah, I do think history of violence is better than Eastern promises. And I have this theory about history of violence because history of violence is like a very, like, there's a side of it that is very cheesy. That is very, I have not seen spider. I, because I think the reviews that I've heard of it is like it's so depressing. Um, but uh, so like some of the acting is really bad in in history of violence. But I have this theory that I feel like there was this conscious thing where Cronenberg was trying to make it like almost like a a, like a Dawson's Creek type show that has this like more violent movie kind of like infest it and so you get that I haven't seen any viral yeah that was earlier someone said mentioned that and uh, um, (laughs) it sounded like they were mentioning a, a kids movie that Cronenberg made which would be insane but uh so I feel like like history of violence is like this movie that is like that has a, a tone and it's invaded by a more like a gorier grittier tone and uh there's like things like the the sex scenes 
and the um the uh um the high school fight that I think feel like that where they like feel like almost a, the sudden we're in a different movie oh really oh. so wait I want to I want to judge this up a little this song I'm hold on let's listen to it and I'll talk about what I want to do Other thing about this? Oh, this little backward symbol to like get us in. I think I can like get us kind of link the, the sections a little bit more. I feel like that's like really like kind of like Fisher Spoony sounding going into that synth. Oh, thank you, Punish Danis. I'll turn this up a little. The Shokes and Sisters, huh? Oh, thank you, Implicate. Thank you. And then it just kind of ends. Um, what do I want to do? I, you know, I definitely like, maybe, you know what? Here's what I'll do. All right. So, I, I I'm getting stuff together uh, for for a new album. So here's what I'm doing. I'm getting out the notebook. Um, I am not going. I want to do not. Uh, uh, I want to have Emily sing on this. I don't want to sing on this. I want to, um, you know, like, she's got a much better voice than me, uh, and, but I'm going to do the work of writing it, like, of, of, like, writing this tune, um, I, 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 I thank you for, for liking my voice, but it, I, I have like zero range and I can't hold a lot of notes. I like, and I, I definitely like singing on stuff. Uh, I just, um, I want to like, part of this is like, I want to try and, and like 
just polish something up and then I can like uh, you know learn more so uh, I, let, let's uh, let's uh, uh, play around with this and and let's uh, maybe write some lyrics what so what should this song be about let's see chat tell me what what does this song sound like it's about brown family band yeah um how does it make me feel pooping okay it does make me feel like peeing, apparently, because I think I have to pee again. Does it evoke any words when I listen to it? Kind of mellow. Okay. Relaxing day park on acid. Um, maybe like desert acid camping. Uh, desert acid. Okay. Like, uh, Desert shrooms, word cloud, uh, late night vibe. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's let's. You know, Nate's right. I'm gonna go back to the old. Uh, actually, before I go back, I'm gonna pee again. So sorry, I'm I'm gonna pee again. <laughs> Um, all right, I'm gonna save life set, but hopefully that doesn't crash Ableton again. Uh, just for fun, you guys can listen, listen to this on repeat. Uh, while I pee I'll probably pee fast enough so that you don't have to listen to it too many times but I wonder if this has been getting dinged That's a good voice. Uh, yeah, you, like again, uh, is Coldplay lyrics. <laughs> so again, I uh, was, this is just me trying to like learn stuff better. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna take a song and try and recreate it. And that's as far as I got. Uh, let me Let me hear this again. Don't 
This was like a hard thing to figure out because it's like it's one, no, two, three, er, one, no, three, four, one, no, three, four. But it sounds like do, 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 it sounds like three, but it's it's not at the you know. Isn't that funny that there's like that like uh yeah it just sounds like a triplet but it's 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 not it's a it's the one the three and the four and so it kind of took me a while to figure that out because I was like trying to put triplets in and I was like it kind of sounds like it works but I don't know all right let's go back to what we were doing Oh, wait. Uh. <laughs> uh, or wait, actually, before we go back to what we're doing, let, let me, if you, anyone, has Timmy used my, my uh, intro song yet? Has anyone been watching Zucchini Boys? Oh, I use arpeggios all the fucking time. I'm a, I'm a Philip Glass fan, so he hasn't streamed since. All right, so this is my my. If you guys missed it, uh, my. Uh, my Zucchini Boys theme. Why did I start it all the way the fuck over there? That's weird. What the fuck was I thinking? Alright, here we go. a line about Carlotta his sister's got such a fat cat Carlotta on the attack so I, I, I really like that line <laughs> Emily got so mad at me for rapping I totally this is totally fucking RZA this is totally Wu-Tang like get this random sound in there and then the the effect on the vocals Boys, 
Zucchini Boys Get hyped up with Zucchini Boys Zucchini Boys Zucchini Boys Get hyped up with Zucchini Boys Zucchini Boys Zucchini Boys Get hyped up with Zucchini Boys Video ideas for that? Oh, I should do an intro. I should I should do a full-on video intro for Zucchini Boys. Yeah, it is the new one. I should do the whole like like thing where I double speed it and I record myself rapping it fast and then slow it down and do the whole Beastie Boys thing. But do it in the kitchen. Oh, just do it Carlotta singing? Oh, that's cool. I'm a just zucchini boy. I'm a just zucchini boy. All right. Um... And... Wait, let me see if I can... Do I still have the thing in here? I think it's right here. Uh, so you know, this is, why isn't this point? Is this? Oh, oh yeah, the, uh, the volume fades out on this because it's just. Uh, I don't want to. Here, I'll duplicate this and just I don't want to fuck this up, but uh. But this is... Right, well, from a Jeffcoat song. Now why is it? Oh, because the wrong thing's soloed. Oh, uh, well, um, here, wait, I'll just find it. It's on my computer. So that sample is, uh, is this song. So it was that little ditty, like, stretched out and, and kind of... Anyone ever heard of this guy named Avicii? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've heard of Avicii. I took a pill with him in Ibiza. Uh... Let's see... I took a pill from a Avicii. <laughs> I took a pill in Ibiza. Ibiza. What did I do with this? So that was actually, I like. <laughs> yeah, Leonardo Avicii. <laughs> Painted the Mona Lisa. Um, I, I, there was one point where I was trying to like make a mashup of, um, that song. I think it's like DJ Snake or something like that with um, Twin Peaks or or, or Twin Twin Falls. That the song by. Um, um uh built a spill 
Christmas twin fall Idaho because uh, they're like melodically very similar and I, I was like I think I can get these to match up but I, I gave up on it I don't know uh, let's see you know what I'm gonna just look at some stuff I have going on here I'm gonna like bounce around see what we got um, but I think I'm getting ready to game. Uh, no, let's not save that. What is this? This is. Watching my stream. I had a good time. <laughs> playing along. Maybe I'll play some video games. To end. Yeah, this that does sound a lot like Wayne. Uh, so what's this? Stormfix. Oh, this is. I was playing around with a version of. Uh, it's playing around with a version of Bodega. And just to kind of like, like just play around with with uh, auto tune and see what you can do with it. I don't I don't like this, but I was just playing with it. In the ground, I'm all about town. I see people, they see me when I went out to the store. I wasn't afraid no more. When I went out to the store, I wasn't afraid no I yeah I don't know I think I might like the original like vocals on that better. Uh, wavy cool caves we started. Uh, let's see what this is. 
Boston to San Jose. It's like I would sometimes make songs on flights and then... Oh, that's dark sounding. I think I was trying to make a song out of I'm on Fire by Bruce Springsteen. What's fun drums? Oh, these drums are fun. Let's see, crash. I think I did something in a crash. Oh, no, Dave Matthews crash. I wonder if I was trying to make a cover of Crash or if I was trying to sample Crash. Untitled 11. Let's see what this is. Uh, Sam Brown, sex, uh, James Brown, Sex Machine? Sam Brown, Sex Machine. Uh, let's see what this is. Oh, this was just me watching this thing. Oh, this is funny. Let's see what this is. This is, I think... At one point, this had, um... a Fuji sample, but I don't think it has it anymore. Oh no, it does. Give you 17 internets if you remember what my name is referencing. Okay, let's see if in this there's any fun ones. Oh, this rambling I remember was a fun one. Let's see. Uh, we're wearing the same shirt, no shit. Oh yeah, this one's good. I feel like I feel like I'm like, I don't need to be a musician because Dan Deacon's already a musician. This used to have drums, because it used to... It used to sample... Oh, oh wait, oh, this is probably missing the, the thing. 
Okay, yeah. See, I, you know, I fucking, like, there's a lot of old stuff where I didn't know how to, uh, I didn't know how to properly save my files where I didn't, like, consolidate the files, so the samples got lost on a lot of these. Let me see if I can fix this. Um, let's see. Let's see. It, it like never really works the way I want to because the timing's always just like a little off and I have to like redo the, the fucking samples. But let's let's see if I can come at least close. the same thing so it thinks it's the same thing when it's not but I have to make sure the name's exactly the same is there a way I don't know does anyone know Ableton out there do you know if there is a way to tell I know there's a way to like search for something somewhere but it has to Automatic search. Can I do a manual search? Show in browser. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Hot swap mode. Maybe I just drag it in here. Oh, it's an M4A. That's why. And just change this. Let me see. I doubt this will work. Okay, one new candidate was found. Okay, it was found. God damn it. Um, hmm. Girl shake Laffy Taffy. Alright, wait. Here, let me just try and... Rambling Game of Man. Okay. 
I for fucking forget how I did that thing. Soloed. All right, I'm going to solo this. All right, so that. I'll loop it. Weird clicking in that. Um, slice to new MIDI track. I think that's what I create. And then I did. Eighth notes. What is that? No, that's it. The quarter notes. Maybe it's if I try this again. That's close. Let's try transients. I think that's definitely, yeah, that, so, yeah, and so I'm just gonna, actually, I'm gonna take that, probably just actually do this and I would do the same thing right now this is just to hear something that I made a while ago sit in this for a while.
Thanks, guys. Um, I want to play some games. I want to put up a poll of which game I should play. Um, and I'll let you guys vote, and I'll go by whatever you guys vote. All right. Um, what game should I play? That's it. All for driving game. Or gun stuff. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna pee. Pulls up, pulls up. Uh, basketball's losing. I might. Ooh, it's all tied up. If it's tied, uh, you know, it, do you guys the the thing that got the least votes, but just by one. Was basketball? Uh, I'm I might pull a veto just because I'm like uh, just because everything was so close. Uh, that's a fun. The new rambling. Um. Everything was so close. I'm going to veto this vote and go with the one thing that didn't win. And uh, I'm going to set up basketball. Because uh, the other thing I was thinking is that, like, uh, if I do basketball, I can play a game. There's, like, a, it's, like, more set as far as, like, because I've been on for a while. I, I can be, like, all right, I've got, like, one half hour, you know. Um, okay. Uh, I did. Basketball always leads to gun uh, guns. I mean, um, who's that? What was that guy on the the Wizards? Um, uh, what was his name that pulled the gun in the locker room? Kendolf. Uh, no. Uh, Ar yeah, Gilbert Arenas. Yeah, wasn't was wasn't he on on uh, the Wizards? I remember there was some joke that uh, Hannibal Burris had, where uh, he said that he couldn't get a Washington Bullets jersey with Arenas and his name and number on it. Uh. Be right back. I just got to set this up. Oh, I'll play like a thing. Uh, play some. Uh, this is an old song of mine right here, and I have to find the my favorite version of this song has uh, samples from. Uh, no country for old men in it, uh, but 
this one I like. And it's sample or someone tell me Sample's Don Henley. That's it's I think it's kinda obvious. over here now this there we go There we 
go. How would you react if someone made a joke about Trevor's death in a conversation with you? It depends on what the joke was. Really, you know. Depends on, like, it's all the context, you know. I make jokes about it all the time, but, like, it's, like, how I cope with it. But, like, you know, if it's going to affect someone else in a negative way, then that's not great. All right. Come here. Let's go to practice, I guess. What's up, man? Wait. I should turn this down. I wonder if the delay on the time is gonna throw me out on the audio. Because I'm listening to the audio from the computer right now. It's like this. Do corner threes. Let's get to work. Here's what we're gonna do. You got it. You got it. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Shut up. Go get it. This I think is like the dumbest thing. All right, so. Granted, like, we're in practice here. Like, this is like, hey, let's, like, practice for the game. But it's well, insanely me. easier to shoot in practice than it is to shoot in a game. And not even I just because you're, like, not being guarded. It's just harder to shoot in a game. They make it so that you have to be more accurate. But why wouldn't they make it like that All for day, practice? Baby. Like, it's so much easier for That's this. what I want to see. But, like, I might not get, uh, like, a three in this game. But here, I just, like, know. Like, not even trying. I just hit 18 of 23s. See how deep I can go. <laughs> like that's what it's like shooting in the game. Where like this is where I should be practicing from, because this is what a three in the game is like. But you know what? I'm just gonna go straight to my game. Decisions, decisions. Go with this one. Sam's muscles. Oh wait, I gotta. Oh shit! Can someone change the stream info? Is there something I can do there right now? It's maybe if I reopen it. this 22 yeah I you know I honestly don't understand people that don't play I mean I guess I, I get it but if you play video games you should check out some sports games they're fun as fuck like even if you don't like sports it's just like fun to like figure it out you know like figure out the strategies and stuff and 
it's like, you know, like anything, it's like a good boss battle or something, you know? And it's funny too, because it's like... It's like a good boss battle in the game, but it's like as if like there had been people playing the game for for the better part of a century and have made careers and millions of dollars off of playing that game, so have developed some like deep strategies to it, you know? See, I can't hit it. Wasn't that covered? But this guy's gonna sink the. Oh no! Come on. All right, I'm gonna run a play. Receive screen for Jalen Brown. All right. This game's so dumb though, like you are in this city and there's like all these stores around, it's the city's so fucking big, but really all the city is, is just like, hey, do you want to play two on two or three on three? Against real people. Like it's like, there isn't even like, there is like a thing where you play like against the computer and there's like a kind of fun you know, kind of mission thing to that, but once you finish that, there is, there's shit. There's nothing. I once got a lacrosse video game. That was pretty funny. Because I used to play lacrosse in high school. I want there to be a new skate game. Skate was rad. I mean, what works for Rocket League is that they treat it like a sport. That it's, like, not about, like... I, I don't know, that, like... The, um... I should have done a... Can floater there. But yeah, like, once a game becomes, like, about a physics engine, that's great. Like, it's about what you can, like, figure out to do within that set of rules. That's what makes a sports game really great. Session's good? I got the other one. What was the other one? Uh, that wasn't session, but it was like, it was fun, but it was super small. Here we go. Oh, Skater XL, yeah. Skate 4. I loved Skate 3. I mean, like, that was a great series. I used to play, like... The thing that was great about Skate is, like, you got, like, this whole city to skate around in. You got all these missions, open world. But sometimes, you'd find, like, an interesting gap or something like that. And then you'd just, like, spend an hour on, like, a handrail or something. Just, like, trying to land a specific trick on that thing. I'm just gonna hit him with that every time.
get like a million assists this game. Oh, there we go. Oh, by the way, I'm playing 12 minute quarters. <laughs> but I don't play the whole f quarter. I, I sit at some point. It just makes the game last a while. Come on. Oh, there we go. Three. Easy come, easy go. Ah. See, like, how close was that to, like, the midline, though? Like, how, like... I feel like I should have gotten that. Floater. Wow, Zach. Thanks, guys. Oh, so you can see the score. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're winning. Everyone on my team must hate me because I'm just like, uh, no, guys. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Come on, take the shot. I hate that. Young can't defend me. Atlanta. Is Kelly Olenek on my team? No, Kelly Olenek in this game, I think, is on Detroit. Which is like, who's on Detroit? Right? Like, I could name players on almost any team in the NBA, but I don't think I could name a player on Detroit unless Kelly Olenek is on Detroit. It used to be Andre Drummond, but Andre Drummond's not on Detroit anymore. Do you guys know the only state in America you you don't aim, you like time your shot. You you uh, can anyone guess the only state in America to not have anyone born go into the NBA, play in the NBA?
Nope, Alaska has, I think, two, two people from there. Hawaii has a player or two. It's funny, like, some states just have, like... Alright, there's, like, one guy from this state that played in the NBA. Oh, come on! It was just early. Wyoming? Uh, no, I think Wyoming had some. Oh, yeah, Wyoming had someone. It's not South Dakota, I wish. It's, uh, oh, I almost said it, but then Beetle Hermit got it. It's Vermont. Vermont is the only state that hasn't had an NBA player come from there. Oh, that was weird. Bogdan. Here we go. Ah! Should have passed out. It was not a good pass. Oh! Is it true that you'll be auctioning off the right to name your baby? Uh, no, it's it's not true. <laughs> It is funny though that people were guessing Paddington for a name, but like in this app, we had to put na like a name for the baby, and so I named it Paddington in the app. It's not actually what the name's gonna be, but you know. Guys, what is up with the Hawks? More like Trey Old. Oh, he heard me. Oh, come on! So much harder to shoot in games than in practice, which I guess you're trying to simulate that, but like... To what end? It makes it just like a less fun game. Oh, come on. <laughs> Gotta catch that, Tatum. Where was the foul, ref? Where was the foul? Uh, I think you can if you, like, hold X. Give me some- give me some name ideas. Charlie Brown, hot running. F fuck you, Ref Brown. That's a weird name. Uh, 
Oh, jeez. It's so weird because, like, sometimes the it, Judge Joe. <laughs> uh, oh, Judge is a good name. Judge Brown? Like Judge Reinhold? I like Judge. Judge Brown. When are they going to kick him out of the game? Fouling me like that? How dare he? <sighs> My shot is off. Just like barely early and they're going to have me miss that. And wide open. I need to calm down my shooting. Ah. I've really, like, in the last, like, few minutes have not been great. Hey, this, sometimes the computer will, like, pick up your guy. Even though you're like, alright, I'm here and I'm defending him. Someone on your team will be like refusing to to go guard their man and Alright. I need to run some plays. I need to run off ball. Get some open looks. Cause it. <sighs> All right, go back to the pick and roll. I don't know. I hit the wrong button there. There we go. That's in. I'm running back. So we don't even rebound there. That was in. Pretty wild half, eight assists. Money. Yeah, I'm barely sure. <laughs> oh! Taco Bell. I should name like like Valvoline or like Castro, or like a corporate name, but like um, something like that, like a stadium would be like uh, what's that um, Subway Staples, yeah. Uh, although Staples is no longer the Staples Center, it's, uh, the, like, crypto dot, yeah, crypto dot com. <laughs> crypto dot com brown. We thought silence. <laughs> cool Ranch Brown. Ooh. Cool. Great value, Brown. Um, 
99 cent store brown. What's that, uh, oh, Qualcomm? I think that's a good name, is Qualcomm. The Washington football stadium, the Washington football team stadium, Brown. Oh, what about Cleveland? Like, I'm not a Cleveland Browns fan, but Cleveland Brown is kind of a funny name. You know, the Cleveland Browns are the only team that's named after a person? Wait, what do they do? They go like this. They got ice in the veins. Oh, come on. That's his second personal foul, second team foul. <laughs> Shooting for Atlanta, Trey Young. Is that what Cleveland's name is? Is Cleveland Brown? I didn't know. Come on. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna try and get a career, or a, yeah, career high night tonight in scoring. Even if we lose, I'm gonna try and be really selfish from now on. Even though I've been pretty selfish the whole night. I needed my 10 assists though. Martin Scorsese Brown. Or what about like Ingmar Bergman Brown? Ingmar Brown. Riot Fuchs. Shuriken. Ooh. Two rebounds. Fucking stupid. They like pick me up so fucking There we go. Out of bounds. The main Boston ball. Now into the lineup. I got this bonus where I can where I can There we go.
I think my scoring record is 32. It's not that high, so. But at some point, they're gonna start doubling me. Ah, I have this bonus that's supposed to be limitless threes. When I, you know, the thing really didn't do me any good. Oh, 69, sick. I thought that was 69, dude, was the, uh, your suggestion for a baby name. 69, dude, brown. Oh, come on. Gonna score, gonna score, gonna score. Fuck. Ah! I can't wait to teach my child how to use Ableton. That's going to be the... There comes a time in every man's life where he gets to teach his child how to use their first DAW. Oh, and so, uh, let me just mention this, is that, um, I wasn't feeling good on Sunday, so we didn't end up doing Trailer Boys on Sunday, and so that means we're pushing it to next week, so if, if you want to submit a trailer for Trailer Boys, feel free. It's, a uh, Primate Week, you know, like, uh, you know, apes and monkeys and orangutans movies with that and such in the trailer and uh, so yeah that'll be on Sunday at 6 Pacific time come on how can I get closer to that freaking ah uh. I'm open, and I'm getting the shot off perfectly. It still doesn't give it to me. There we go. Uh... That was so sloppy, and they still got it. Ah! I wonder why... It's not, it, it's Ennis Cantor, not Ennis Freedom. I guess... Maybe China had something to do with that? Or maybe it was like, uh... Pledge. Uh, oh, I would, I would, I wouldn't have had to look to give you points. I'm just giving you points on that. But yeah, if you haven't seen it, Trailer Boys is a very fun show, very cool subsect of the community. Um, we, you submit the trailers to MiseryLoves.us uh, on the theme of of uh, primates this week and. Uh, 
we watch them, we give them points if we think they're really good, you know, like, uh, uh, and we're not just saying, like, oh, King Kong, that's a, like, we've all seen the trailer for King Kong, unless it's, like, a exceptionally, like, neat trailer, like, uh, like, the Shining trailer is, like, a neat trailer. Um, you know, submit that, but, oh, King Kong Brown, King Brown? King Brown Bundy? Oh, they're, they're hanging on in this game, man. I thought we would, this was a blowout waiting to happen. Probably because I'm the only one scoring, and then when I get off the court... I think 32 is my season slash career high. about my baby. We know that the baby is a little dot. We know it's got a heartbeat and that we've heard the heartbeat and that everything seems normal. Norman Brown. I like Norman. Norm. Super high screen there. Ah! Clint Capella's always getting me right there. Yeah, I'm very excited, uh, too. Thank you for saying that. Especially, let me tell you this. Uh, I guess pregnancy is, like, freaking hard? I don't know. Because Emily was super sick, and she's so much better now. She still has, like, periods where she gets, like, sick. But, like, it was fucking awful. I felt so bad for her. And I think we're, we're hopefully not completely out of the woods with that, but, like, it's much better now. Come on! I feel like I, I scored like 26 points and then I took like a million shots since then that have all missed. And they're within nine? Crap. It's fucking. Ugh. Takes so long to like set you like you can never really truly get like an open shot. Cause then also they do this thing where it's like someone gets like if you're open 
and then you start taking a shot and someone gets their hand in your face. What am I supposed to do there, LeBron? Are you kidding me? David Berkowitz. Burke Brown? There we go. All right. I think two more points. It was it 32 or 34? That was my career high. They're like, hey, he's just going to shoot it. He's been shooting it every time. Let's just triple team him. He's going to call for a screen, and he's going to fucking shoot it. Squid Games round. I didn't even like Squid Games, but yeah. That's, that's it. There we go. 35. New career record. I just need six rebounds in the last six minutes. That's a one rebound a minute. I can do it. Oh, I. I'm gonna work on my step backs, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the pick and then do a step back. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? Let's try this. That did not work out. I was open. Boston foul. Skate fall. Uh, no, we're not going to chop the babies. Hoo ha. Time for me to stop playing so selfishly. I need a better team. Team grade. I think it makes sense not to not to do the thing. we're like winning by a lot I didn't realize it's still still a game nine points it's still a game three minutes left I let him get in front of me Clean. 
Trapper Keeper? Ooh, I like Trapper Keeper. President was the one that I was thinking of. If it's a boy, we'll name him Dorothy. And it's a girl, Trapper Keeper. Wilson, Wilson's nice, I like Wilson. We have a name and it's close to Wilson. I don't know if I'm supposed to say it or not. No, not William. If I get a three, I have a 40 point game. No way. Looks like someone's shooting threes for the rest of the game. Despite what's going on with this team. Watch we lose. Fuck. That was not good. Ooh, this is not good. Oh, come on! Leroy, yeah, big bad. Oh, fuck. We really blocked that? That was crazy. Samson? Brown Brown? I like Brown Brown. Oh, I fucking wasn't looking at the shot clock. Fuck. I didn't realize it was- I thought it was- uh, I didn't realize it was our ball, first off. And then once I got it, I was like, wait, what's going on? And <laughs> But I probably wouldn't have been able to do anything anyways. Oh, come on! Just gotta make these. Oh, come There we go, 40 points. Career high. All right. Oh, come on. That's the win. All right. Oh, I gotta do the post interview. Uh. Frank? Boy, the team's firing on all cylinders.
cylinders right now. Oh yeah. Given that things have come relatively easy up to this point, now is there any concern about Send me. how you'll handle the inevitable adversity, MP? You know, Phil, yeah, that's a, that's a great teacher. So when the inevitable bumps come, we'll be looking to learn from them, incorporate their lessons, and, and be better from the experience. I look forward to failure. You know, I embrace it. So what does your coach think of the, that kind of mindset? Like, looking forward to failure? You know, he might phrase it differently, but he's behind me 100%. We're on the same wave, and there's only one way to get better, and that's to push yourself to uncomfortable places, which involves, what, failure, okay? I guess. Concept of grass. We we teach our children the same thing in kindergarten. So for me, oh, what is this? All right, y'all. How we doing today? I think this is the first time I've, I've done this kind of press conference. Hey, man. Major props on making the Rising Stars Challenge. Thanks, John. And what does it mean to you and your team to earn this honor? Wow. And it's big and it, it says a lot about the guys I've worked with how far they've helped me come in the short time that I've been here and at this level you need a great team around you to succeed and I've got that so I'll be looking forward to going out there and putting on a show for those guys speaking of superstars Jalen Rose told me recently that all-star weekend is like the biggest party in all of sports how much are you looking forward to the hoopla surrounding the games oh I'm gonna party you know I love hoopla, John. <laughs> it's true. Man, you're one of the biggest hoopla fans I know. Look, no doubt. I like to get in there and mix it up. See and be seen. Look fresh, act fresh, be fresh. It's my motto. Oh, come on, man. You have to put that on a t-shirt. Look, act, be. Yo, hey, I kind of like that. Could be something that I, I see, John. Good looking out. Look, act, be. All right, that's going to do it Isn't you guys. look fresh or like be f eat fresh? Isn't that the subway slogan? To just have a subway? Dope. Alright guys. Time to say goodnight. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna see if there's any donuts that came in. It's Dr. Fun MD did. I don't know if that started a trend. Good job, Sam. Eat fresh. All right, Dr. Fun MD is the only person who uh, donated tonight, but uh, yeah. All right, guys. You guys are great. Uh, let me see these on. This is really fun. This has been the Muscle Show. Uh, Alright, let's turn that down. Uh, Dr. Fox meets on. Oh, yeah. But. You know what? You know who's on? It's Frank Howley. I haven't rated Frank in a while. Massage Emily, lol. She's hurting. She should be massaging me. Uh, raid. Give Frank a big woot woot. Uh, always good to see him. Here we go. Uh, have a nice night, guys. Thank you all for hanging out. Thanks for uh, listening to me play around with some music stuff and talking. And uh, have fun hanging out with Frank Alley. Bye bye. <laughs>